Welcome to the Copper King Mine and Railroad. Today we're going to talk about something really fun. We're going to talk about the vertical tram at Bingham. It was fun to ride. You'll see why. So stay tuned. Today we're going to talk about this neat little tram they had at Bingham. We'll show you some fun pictures of that. Now at the Copper King Mine it's dusk and we found a great spot for train spotting and it's right here at the mill area so we're going to spend a moment here and then we're going to go up and look at this uh, tram at Bingham Canyon. So today we're going to talk about the vertical tram at Bingham. Now this is really neat. I really love this little tram. So the this came in 1911 when they built the Bingham and Garfield Railroad line. And it came in so high, it came in at uh, 6340 elevation. And that was high over the town of Bingham. And so to get down to the town, they built this tram. Well, first they built some stairways. And you can see some pictures of this steep stairway <laughs> this lady on it right here that must have been a feat to get down to those stairs anyway so they built this uh neato tram now if you look at some of these pictures this uh carfork bridge right here in this picture it's 190 feet tall so it came down quite a ways so when they built the Bingham Garfield line. We talked about that in one of our videos. Um, they had, it was a common carrier, so they had passenger service at first for a little while. So the line started in 1911 and passenger service went till December 3rd, 1921. And it only lasted 10 years. But then they used the tram for employees and they eventually will build the uh, general office building up here and a lot of other buildings up here warehouses and shops and different things and so they'll use the employees will use this tram until its demise you can see these great pictures of them building this tram here on this hillside this is really neat to see this picture and it came down and it's right by this american express building i'm not sure what american express building was doing what that kind of business was back then but it looks like they had passengers they had uh, wagons and coaches waiting here to take people throughout the town of Bingham anyway some great pictures of that so look at these pictures this is the view that people got when they first came into the mine area what a sight that must have been back then you can see here's a picture of uh, the train station was there and Here's a passenger train in a B&G yards. And here's a Stanford Fire Insurance map in 1929 of the area. You see the, the depot right there in the station. And the, there's actually a little picture of the tram right there to the right. Then at the base of the tram, they had this sawmill, mill. And it only lasted until 1923. And you see this empty lot right here where that mill was and some pictures of the old foundations and stuff of that mill and it looks like it turned into the kids' playground right here and you see them right here playing baseball so in 1923 they will build the robert gimbel memorial building the gimbel club we called it right here in that spot right next to where the tram came down and this is a clubhouse for all the people that lived in bingham it had bowling alley and a great big gymnasium and they had fights and all kinds of events here and people really love this building here in Bingham here's some great pictures of the gimbal club then in 1937 they remodeled it you see some pictures of them 
remodel it right here and then made it larger and put this different little different kind of roof roof on it and so it lasted a long time i i remember it when i was up there it lasted until the 70s so here's some great pictures of that because it was right next to the tram you see the tram to the right and all these pictures right here and then over time that went away also so let's look at some more pictures of this tram you see the some of these pictures you can see the general office building on top of the hill that came in 1918 the first tram cars were built out of wood then later on they fabricated metal cars and it was powered by a 35 horsepower electric motor and consisted of two cars which were pulled by up two pair of tracks by cables and it said it was a 21 degree slope up that tr uh, trackway and it was a 570 feet in length and the vertical rise was 150 feet now it had operators for a long time and controlled the movement of the tram here's a picture of one of them his name was pablo lorenzo that's the only picture i have of an operator but then they went automated they automated the controls at the end there now the here's some pictures of the different things up in bng yard here's the old train depot they had up here some pictures of that it had an all copper roof and that was kind of neat and uh, my dad worked up here. My dad, the oil house was here. My dad worked out of the oil house. Here's a picture of my dad. He was the second one on the left there. And this is inside the oil house. So I used to love to ride up this, ride up this tram. It, I did it a few times going up to my dad's work and different things when I was younger. So I really thought that was neat. Then at the end of the 70s they stopped using it here's the the tram pictures of the tram you see the cables laying right there they've taken it out and then some pictures in the early 80s when they took the whole thing out then here's some pictures colored pictures of the tram some great pictures of that just to see what it looked like it was really cool then we have a short little archival clip of the Denver and Rio Grande Western promotional video, and it was called The Desert Empire. And that was in 1948. So take a look at this clip in this tram, it's really neat. So that's the tram of Bing Canyon Mine.